Hello everyone, I'm Divya, your math facilitator, and now I'm going to give you the most important questions from tangents and secants to a circle. So first, what you have to learn from this chapter is the construction. So construction of similar triangle, they are giving you for a long answer question. So do learn construction of tangents first. Okay. So after construction of tangents, so question related to area of shaded region. So for example, they will give you a question like this. These are previous year question I'm giving you a square. ODEF is inscribed, okay, please do this question, a square ODEF is inscribed in a quadrilateral OPEQ of a circle, okay, so there is a square in the circle, okay, the square ODEF is inscribed in a quadrilateral OPEQ of circle and uh, OD is given as 14 root 2 centimeter. So, RT, RT said that the area of shaded region is 224 centimeter square. You need to draw the figure here. So, do you agree? Give reason. So, here basically let me draw the figure for you. So, I am just drawing the figure. So, this is the semicircle actually in which you have the square inscribed. So, you need to find this area of the shaded region. So, square O D E F. This is O D E F. Let this be O D E F. Okay. Inscribed in a quadrilateral. This quadrilateral of quadrant of a circle. This is sorry. This is quadrant O. P E Q. This is P E Q. Okay. O P E Q, which means C. O P E Q. So this is a quadrant of the circle. So O D is given to you. O D. This part is given. This part. Only this part is given as 14 root 2. So you need to find the area of the shaded region. So the side of the square is given to you. Okay. So if you find this. Okay, if you find OE, you will get the radius of the semicircle. Okay, so using radius of the semicircle, I hope it is clear for you now. If you see OE, you will get the radius of the semicircle. So from, yes, radius of the quadrant actually. So from there, you can take area of quadrant minus area of square will give you the area of the shaded region. Okay, so this is how you have to do area of shaded region question. Then next, they may ask you in the given figure, in the given figure, A, B, A, C and P, Q are tangents. Okay, in the given figure, A, B, A, C and P, Q are tangents to a circle. And A, B is 6 cm. So, find perimeter of triangle A, P, Q. So, you have a circle. Okay, so there are two tangents like this. And one more tangent like this. So there are three tangents. So A, B, A, C. So A, B, A, C are tangents. And P, Q is also a tangent. So you need to find the area of this triangle. A, P, Q. Okay. And they also gave you A, B. This total A, B is 6 cm. So when A, B is 6, A, C is also 6. Okay. So you take the perimeter. And also B, Q equal to, if I take a point E here. So B, Q equal to P, E. C, Q equal to Q, E. Okay, so from there you will get the perimeter. Perimeter is nothing but double of the length of the tangent which will be 12. Then, okay, then they may give you angle between two tangents. They may give you angle between two tangents and they will ask you what is the angle between the radii. For example, suppose these are the tangents, these are the radii, center O. So they will tell this angle is 60, what is this angle? This angle is nothing but 180 minus 60. So angle between the tangents and angle between the radii are supplementary to each other. Okay, so like that you will have to subtract it. Suppose if they give you angle between the radii, angle between the tangent will be, will be 180 minus the given angle. Okay, so these are the most important questions from similar triangles chapter, uh, sorry, tangents and secants chapter. So I hope I covered all the questions here. So don't forget to learn these questions. So same models you can expect in your boards. 
right so doing this will take another half an hour for you so please complete it and share these questions with all the friends who are in need and do subscribe to the channel okay so i'll see you all with the next chapter bye bye take care all the best